Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Dallas and today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the first ever Koenigsegg to be released in the game. Uh, this is the Aguera and uh, well, it's very very expensive. 1600 gems from the showroom. Uh, well, it was actually uh, discounted 50% off for the first day. That means 800 gems. That's when I bought this particular one and then I maxed it out. So here's a clip of that while I tell you some information about it. First off, yes, I'm still giving this card away. The deadline is 7th of August, so you still have two days left after this video of a upload to actually enter in the giveaway. The link uh, is down in the description. You can comment on that and enter in the giveaway for the coin exact. But anyway, let's talk about the brand first. Now, even back in car count days, which was uh, like 2011, 2012. People uh, were always requesting the developers to actually put Koenigsegg in the game and it took them quite a while, like 3 years at least, to actually put uh, a card from Koenigsegg in the game but here we are and when this card was first released the hype was real like, I mean, as I said, 1000 people entered in the giveaway in less than 2 days, so that's crazy. But is the card actually any good? Well, we're gonna be able to, talk, uh, uh, to take a look at that later, but for now, let's just say that it did meet its expectations. This card is very, very expensive. Like, um, they go for 15 to 20 mil. I actually got a really good deal uh, on uh, another one I bought. I got it for like 6.5 when it was already stage 2, so a really good deal there, but uh, the thing is, I wonder uh, what Koenigsegg will be released next because you know this car, uh, the the price of it might actually drop if like the next Koenigsegg is like the race edition of this uh, Agera, you know. But still, it is an R class car, so I was kind of uh, you know expecting it was gonna be more like R two because you know Koenigsegg uh, cars are known to be very very fast, but you know R class, so um, there you go. Alright, now that the card is maxed, we can actually take a look at the rating and see that at least rating-wise, this is the fastest R-Class car in the game currently. Uh, because, you know, other R-Class cars are the RVBs, which uh, mostly top out at 1679, sometimes they go into 1680, but this car, uh, it actually goes into 1680 pretty easily, so uh, there you go. Also, uh, world record for this car currently is 6.836, something like that. Uh, while the fastest RVB, the Stella, as well, the record is 6.856, so uh, there you go. Uh, definitely the fastest R-Class card in the game, and, uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't pink slip one versus an RVB, mainly because I would probably lose because I suck at racing, but also because this card's worth a bit more than, you know, a Stella, let's say. Yeah, quite a bit more, but anyway, um, I guess uh, I can show you the actual uh, setup real quick, if you didn't catch that in the actual video, so let's go for that, shall we? Alright, so, uh, here we are. I did a quick jump cut because the game was fucking lagging out on the previous take a lot, but now it seems to be a bit better. Still not smooth, but uh, I'm recording at 30 FPS, so it should be fine for you guys, and I'm probably not gonna go kill myself over it, so it's fine. Let's see, but I definitely do need more RAM on my PC, maybe that's the issue. Hmm, I don't know, it's possible. But anyway, let's just power through this. This card has something I like to call a common sense tune, which should be self-explanatory. Basically, you just use logic and you tune it, so nothing really too complex. Comes with a turbo on it, uh, stock, so that's uh, pretty great. You don't need to wait like two days to actually, uh, you know, only put a turbo on it, so that's ideal. Has a NOS on it. I think it uh, the NOS actually takes exactly one day and six hours, if I'm correct I think I am I think I remember that but um, yeah so actually you can just see that you know this part still doesn't benefit as usual so there you go but yeah it's it's a pretty nice car uh, one thing I actually uh, noticed about it is the fact that you cannot actually paint it as I can show you that real quick um, there you go the customize you cannot paint it because it comes with this lever uh, lever on it I guess uh, like kind of a stripe um, on the hood and on the spoiler but not on the roof because I don't know uh, but anyway the wheels actually uh, look really nice on it uh, so I decided I'm actually gonna keep them stock on that car can take a look at these actually I don't think I actually looked at uh, the options on it but you know obviously you can't really change any body parts because I actually would be really surprised if you could so there you go, and of course, uh, suspension stage 2, as you can see. So there you go. 
So alright, it's time to go in the lobby and see what this card can do. Hopefully we can hit like a 6.9, I would be pretty happy with that, so uh, let's go for it. I'm not actually sure how much energy and stress this card has, I'm assuming like 90, shouldn't be too high, so let's see. Do, can we find a bot lobby immediately, that would be nice. There you go, perfect. So let's see, I have no clue how to drive it, but uh, I guess uh, we're gonna find out, hopefully. I'm gonna use the Evo Drop Launch first, cause why not. Okay, uh, that was weird. So I guess uh, not the Evo Drop Launch, we can try the Batman Drop Launch next. Had like uh, 84 engine, engine damage uh, for that foul, so actually it might be pretty high. The engine uh, stress per race, but whatever, we can still power to it, why not? Plus we have another one, so we can raise that. So let's do the McLaren one now. Okay, it's not the McLaren one, that's for sure. We're gonna shift late. Can we actually beat the bot? I don't think so. There you go. But it still didn't, uh, I mean it didn't top out at the end, so that's one thing, I guess. Literally a thing, nothing else. Uh, 7.2, but you know, we didn't have check action loss or anything, so, uh, not a perfect launch either, so we can definitely do better. Uh, this time around, I'm actually gonna try, uh, start, uh, to stop revving as soon as the second light comes on, because we were pretty close that time. Okay, that was a foul, but we were pretty close, as you guys were able to see. It was actually on the green light when I pressed, so... Pretty close, um, still a foul, you know, isn't good, so... That's that's one of the RGS tip, I guess. Foul is bad. No shit. Okay. Come on. I mean, I still have another car to go through, but... It would be great if I could actually, you know, launch it. There you go. But I did mess up the first gear because I actually wasn't expecting to get a perfect launch. Actually it has 7 gears, I just noticed that. Uh, I guess it does in real life as well, so there you go. 6.972, nice. If I didn't mess up that first run, this could actually be a 6.8, so uh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good run. Uh, with that reaction time as well on blue stacks, I will take that. So we should still have one run left if you use NOS, I'm pretty sure, so uh, let's see. I'm gonna race Atomic Engine over here, obviously a bot, and uh, see if we can do better. Let's hope for the best, expect the worst. Eh, still a perfect launch, not a perfect reaction time, but uh, actually didn't mess up uh, the first gear that time, so this should be a pretty good run, let's see. 6.924 with a mediocre action time. There you go. So uh, there is the proof that this guy can actually do a lot better, you know. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I'm not gonna spend uh, 36 gems to actually um, repair the card because I have another one lying around. So we're gonna go and see if we can possibly uh, do better with that car. Let's see. I think uh, they should have the exact same tune on it. Otherwise, it would be pretty weird. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, same exact tune, there you go. This is the one I bought, uh, it was like stage 2, so, uh, there you go. They don't exactly take a lot to max out as well, considering how cheap RRC is at the moment, so, uh, you know, it didn't really cost me all that much to actually max the card out, let's see. Is this a bot lobby? Doesn't seem like it, there's another one here, we can take a look at that. I guess, uh, we get challenged by a zone, they'll pass on that. Because, I mean, it's not exactly fair. 680 versus a car that's probably 683. Eh, I'm gonna pass on that. I mean, I'm losing enough uh, street car already, just racing as I do. So, uh... You know what? A bot's probably a safer option, so there you go. Let's race. There you go, that's uh, a notification, I guess. Ah, fuck. Okay, I messed up the first gear as well. I mean, again, but, uh... Yeah, otherwise this would be a really good time, as you guys were able to see. 
Uh, one thing that I did realize is the fact that I'm actually getting better at getting good reaction time, some blue stacks, so that's great. It's probably because I am uh, I sold a shitload of cars. Or maybe it's just the placebo effect, I don't know. Could be a lot of things, who knows. Let's see. Come on, there you go. But yeah, this card is actually fairly easy to race. So, uh, I mean, if you have a chance, go ahead, you know, enjoy yourself. It's a nice car, for sure. Uh, I messed up the first gear as well, come on. I don't know. The shifts are actually very, very slow on this car. So, yeah, it's it's a pretty easy car to race, I mean. Let's see, 6.932, I'll take that. Um, almost beats our PB. Let's see. Come on. Load the bot. Game's freezing a bit. Some of the Chilago. Mm. Well, I mean, he challenged us, so yeah, I'll take that street cred. Let's go. Still, uh, the game is starting to actually uh, lag just a bit for me. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna refresh. See, uh, before you know. We're actually gonna take a look um, how many runs we have left. That, that was also a six second run, I'll take that. Nice, so we still have uh, two runs left, so let's refresh real quick and then go back in that lobby and see what we can do. But uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to get consistent with this card because unlike you know the Lambo we just raised, it's actually not a pain in the ass to launch. It's uh, a pretty easy launch as soon as the second light comes on and just release. Um, I mean, yeah, the rev button and it's it's very very consistent, so that's that's really good. Um, I really do like this card. I'm pro I don't know. I'm probably gonna trade both of these uh, away. Well, one I'm gonna get away, and one I'm gonna trade away. But then I'm probably gonna get my hands on one again uh, because it's actually a really nice car. Um, I really do like it. I mean, this is uh, the first time racing it, and uh, it's just a blast, really. So let's see. Two more rounds. Let's try to get at least one six point eight. Or, you know, at least perfect launch. There you go. I hit the uh, limited like five times, I think. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, at least I heard it. I'm not sure if you guys were able to. There you go, 6.925. Uh, perfect reaction time again. It's uh, pretty impressive for blue stacks. I'll take that for sure. Let's see. I mean, and the game is actually super smooth at the moment, so that's that's great. Actually, we can raise this guy, why not? There we go. Another Vagera. They're actually uh, not that rare, you know, because they were on sale for the uh, for 800 gems for the first day, and a lot of people took advantage of that. Let's see. Uh, that wasn't ideal, but uh, whatever. I don't think we hit any uh, rev limiters, so... Uh, yeah, we didn't actually, because that was a 6.7, there you go. Eh, 6.8, I mean 6.9. Uh, actually, like, this could actually be a world record if I actually uh, freaking manage to get a perfect launch. I mean, uh, perfect reaction time. Could it? Yeah, I think it actually could be. Hmm, that, that, was, uh, that was actually pretty good, I'll take that. Uh, actually, he wasn't maxed, but uh, oh well, could, could be worse, you know. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, after racing this car, I have to say it's really impressive. Um, definitely easier to race than the RVBs. Uh, it's also faster, as you guys were able to see. So really, a great car. I I just love it. So I would give this car a nine uh, a nine out of ten. Also has almost 2,000 uh, horsepower, as you guys were able to see, holy shit, I never noticed that, that's crazy. Uh, and a high, almost 115 stress plays, but uh, crazy car, I just love it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please give me uh, your rating from 1 to 10 in the comment section below. And um, in two days, the giveaway winner uh, of the other Agara will actually uh, be chosen. So good luck to you all, and uh, have a great day.